Well, hello, intrepid viewer. Some of you who have looked at my earlier videos know that I've been trying for quite some time to get to the point where I could do some uh, sandblasting of uh, some of my drawings onto uh, like a glass mug or you know, porcelain or something, some hard surface. And to do that, I need um, masks. And so the first one I tried to do, and in fact have done, um, I managed to cut this out, this uh, a drawing of this bicycle on uh, freezer paper, but I'm getting ready to do it on vinyl. I, I tried it a number of times on freezer paper because it's uh, a lot cheaper to mess up freezer paper. But this time I'm going to try to step through and show you the, my bumbling efforts because it has been bumbling. This is a very confusing system. I, I've said that before and it's still confusing. I'm not sure which thing you should do first. Uh, use the the uh, uh, design and cut manager to set up the connection to the cutter, which I've already done, uh, but I'll show you again, or to uh, create the artwork, um, which is what i am typically been doing over these last uh, efforts to uh, put this whole thing together. And that's what I'm going to do this time, too. So I'm going to go up to the canvas workspace. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know where that thing actually resides. It, every, all the information suggests it's out you know, on the Brother site somewhere. But in fact, the software resides on my computer also. I had to load, download both uh, the controller and the uh, canvas. So I don't know where in the world this thing goes. But uh, I never save anything out on some um, service provider's cloud. I always save everything on my own computer. It's not that I don't trust anybody. but uh, I don't trust anybody. So what I'm going to do first is log into uh, the Canvas workspace. It says right here is a PC application that allows you to create data for your brother cutting machine. Yes, by connecting to the internet you can download the online free collections and purchase pattern collections. I haven't done any of that and don't intend to do it. Uh, in order to use this application, the Canvas Workspace, formerly known as the Scan and Cut Canvas, and I don't know if you can still get into that or not. Haven't tried, don't intend to. Um, if you don't have a, an account, create it free, 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 by uh, clicking on Create New Account. Well, I already do have an account, and so I'm going to log in with this fish, fish, fictitious uh, stuff right here, and uh, then upload or sideload or some kind of load uh, this JPEG into the canvas and then mess around with it so I can get it into a form that I can bring back over or down or however this thing actually works um, into the control function so I can drive the cutter. So you can see once I've logged into uh, the canvas workspace a whole bunch of stuff comes up here. Uh, once again, not on which I really care about, because I always use my own material. I never use anybody else's material. Uh, copyright's a big, big deal. Uh, I try my best to never use anybody else's stuff, certainly not intentionally. So I'll get rid of that thing. I don't want that. Um, and I'll bring this up here. Uh, see if I can make this a little bit bigger, like that. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, bring a file in, import it from my computer because it's on my computer as a JPEG. So I'll do that and it's going to ask me, well, where do you want to look? Um, and I want to look in, uh, in this case, um, videos, uh, business, uh, making somewhere in here, KLM. Uh, making stencils and masks, um, a Colnago bike, and there it is. All right, so it's a JPEG. What size is it? Uh, 733 by 462, about 90 kilobits. So I want to use that one. I'll launch that little puppy into there, and there it is. Mm. So now I've got it in there, but it's a JPEG. And if you've read any of the documentation, and I sure many of you have at least waded into it. Uh, you know I can't use that. Um, it's a JPEG. It, it's not a cut file. So I need to make this into a cut file uh, and that's what I'll do right now. 
but uh, to show you that in fact this won't work um, I know I tried it and I'm trying it right now uh, if I grab this thing and I, I can move it around you know mess around with it like that but I can't do much of anything else with it and if you look over here on some of these little icons um, there's properties blah 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 like that no. um, I can edit it nope I can't do much of anything with it how about this layers well all I really have is a single image I can turn that off if I want but that doesn't do me any good so I've got a single image here I can't really do much of anything with it so what I'm gonna do is uh, get rid of it going because what I really need to do from a, with a JPEG is this. I need to go over here and do a tracing, an image tracing. So I'm going to click this, and now it's telling me again, do you want to bring an image in from the computer? Or And here's another example of the confusion of the instructions that uh, you, you just inevitably go through. Because it gives you a, a thing over here. It says an image scanned by your machine. Well, if you've got um, a scan and cut machine, which is what the little icon shows, you can tell because it has this little um, screen up here. Well, I don't have a scan and cut machine. I've got the design and cut machine. So I have no choice. I have to go over here and say, I want to bring it in from the computer because that's where I'm storing this thing, not out on their um, uh, their cloud. So once again, I've got to look through this thing to get the right one. All right. So making stencils and masks. Yes. Colnago bike. Yes. And there we go. Obviously, I'd already done this before. So uh, I'll bring that one in. And it tells me down here that I can use this, a JPEG, a GIF, a PNG, bitmaps, anything like that so I'll bring it in now there it is and it is in fact traced the outline of the bike but I really need all of it the inside too so instead of using just the outer edge of this because it's a black and white it's pretty easy uh, I can trace it by areas of color and the default I guess is five but in fact I guess it depends on how you count this is it black and white or is it just black is it a single color or is it two colors do you count the background or not uh, I don't know it doesn't really matter because um, I've got it I got the inside so now I've got the inside of this thing and the outside which is what I want and now when I go up here and choose this thing you'll see um, that watch this when I try to move this it says uh, no there's something locked on this trace right I can't do anything with it. I can't move it around well if it's locked why well, come over here and I look on the layers because I got a lot of layers now um, and there's a lock right here so I'll unlock it now let's see if I can grab this thing yep I can I can size it right move it around and I'll leave it pretty big here so I've got this thing but in fact what I have is the beginnings if you want to look at it that way of the uh, file form that will uh, drive the cutter FCM do I remember that right I don't know um, so I've got that but I've also got the original image and and you can see that if you come over here and turn the eyeballs off right so this shape right here you'll notice is this shape right here so if I come over here and I uh, smack the eyeball so it can't see boink and then I'll smack the next shape this little triangly looking thing is probably this right here so I'll take that out a little black eye on that one another shape boom another shape boom another shape no boom shape boom Oh, now I finally get to, um, sorry, down at this end, I finally get to the image. Now watch what happens. Now I've got the um, FCM. -M? You'd think I remember this after doing this a number of times. Uh, it, I could put these shapes back in, 
See that? But I don't want those. I just want the the inside and outline lines of this thing. So now I've got this. I want to come up here and export the actual FCM file. Now I don't know what these other things are. I've tried them a couple of times. You can mess with it, I suppose. If your computer blows up, you know you shouldn't have done that. Um, so I'm going to export this FCM file down to the uh, manager. And the manager will then drive the cutter. So let's do that. Uh-oh. The objects that have been set as hidden are not available to export. Well, that's good because I don't want to export those. I only want the cut files, the inside and outside lines of this. So where am I going to put this? Once again, I've got to look for it. Once you've done this, it actually comes up the right place. So anyway, um, so I come up here and I look for what was it? Let's see, mm, making masks and stencils. Boink, like that. Go into Colnago bike, and now I can name this thing. Mm, I'll call it. Uh, I don't know. The same bike. Oop. See, you can't even spell a word. Same bike. I just can't see what I'm doing. Just did. Yes. So I'll put that there. Boing. Like that. All right. Now I need to go into uh, back down into my computer, or actually back down into um, the. Uh, the scan and the design and cut manager. Good grief. So I clicked on the um, icon for the design and cut manager and this comes up and you can see here they're kind of showing you what's going on is um, uh, I'm, I'm in the um, ca uh, canvas workspace to do the um, changeover from my uh, JPEG into the correct file form which I saved and I saved it in my computer right so you can read all this stuff I'm sure you probably have um, so I have to uh, connect my machine because it's in sleep mode right now because I've been yakking so long I actually had it all set up before let's see what happens when I do this start setup here I don't need to Join Canvas Workspace. I already got it. So um, I hit connect, and it's asked me for the 145th time. Yeah, are you on USB cable? Yeah, I am because that's the way I set it up initially. So it says uh, go to next. So I'll do that. Now it's saying connect. Well, I just said I want to connect. Well, it's asking me again. There it goes. Uh, it was successful. Okay. All right. So now where am I going to go with this thing? Uh, you keep going back and forth here. What's this? Doink. Close. Bong. And now it's processing. It processes a lot. Mm. See this down here? This becomes very, very annoying. Every time something takes place inside the Design and Cut Manager, it brings up this thing says Removable Disk because this program determines or has decided that the um, DC200, or I don't know if it'll do it on any of the other cutters, but this one does. It says it's called a Removable Disk. It doesn't recognize it as a DC200. And this daggone thing keeps popping up every time this does something over here. Now, if you look on page 19 of the instruction manual, good luck with that. Um, I'm running Windows 10, and it tells you how to minimize this. Because, take my word for it, this gets really annoying if you don't um, tell it to disregard. Um, because otherwise and you won't see it here because I've already turned it off. You get this big flashing thing over here on the screen every time it tries to do something. All right. So anyway, here we are back to um, I want to load data into this uh, application so it can drive the cutter. So I'll do a load data. Okay, now what data? Well, I want to 
select the file that's saved on my computer and there it is right there oh, is that right mm, well that's from a previous one <laughs> that I was messing with in a different folder so once again work through this thing making them where are they making a mini move no not that one I want to do this one uh, Conago bike let's see if I've got it there it is the same bike I just did and only now it's in an FCM form so I'll open that one up like that it's processing watch this see boink there it goes again and you can see here my uh, cutter it turned on it just kind of clicked now I've got this thing loaded with a small piece of vinyl um, and hopefully set the see this down here well if you hadn't if you hadn't told it to disregard this stuff this whole place over here would be flashing and making a little dinging noise uh, so there it is there's my um, uh, bike 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 cycle right there all right operation what do you want to do um because i'll tell you what if you try to do like a test cut right now it, it'll tell you you can't do this this is too big let's see uh please select Oop. and I cut now i need to resize this oh but i think probably i'll uh, go ahead and do the test cut uh, because I'm using a tiny small piece of vinyl um, and I had to change the uh, blade setting so who knows I might not have it right it's kind of tricky to do so test cut um, I want to try to do that and so I'll do this apply boing now once again it's processing uh, and it's dinging and stuff's flashing and do oh, good grief it's processing it's processing it's going to ask me where I want to put this little test cut as soon as it gets done thinking about it it's still thinking and it's still dinging and stuff still flashing down here it's very entertaining um, so I want to start to do that test cut settings hmm. let's see what that gives me probably something pretty important like where do you want to do it um, well I've only got um, a small piece of vinyl here so I, I probably want to put it up in here somewhere I had five by five I think that's what I counted was five by five uh, yeah five by five so I think I'll put it up here uh, five by five let's go uh, four to five and um, four to five I think that's probably okay mm -hmm. so let's see and here we go processing ding ding flashing lights oh that's no good because uh, my um, my uh, drawings way too big and uh, the reason it's way too big is because I made a fundamental um, brain lapse sure happens a lot lately um, when I did the original um, FCM file uh, setup is that when I had this thing enlarged like this after after I got rid of everything here except the um, the, the uh, actual shape of the cuts uh, I left it too big you have to know ahead of time you have to think ahead of time how big do you want this thing to really cut on the um, cutter board or the cutter sheet whatever we call this thing and I left it way too big at that point I wasn't thinking ahead because I'm using a small little piece of vinyl not the whole sheet so I needed to come back here and size this down because I've got uh, five across on my vinyl sheet right one two three four five so it comes out my vinyl sheet comes out to about here so the biggest I can actually make this thing is about like that right because I want to move it down away from the edge just use the, the arrow keys here to move it slightly 
right so am I still within the five by five I think so one two three four yeah but coming over this way one two three four five so I should just be within that um, uh, five going this way but I do have a little bit of room one two three four get it one two three four five that I'll be able to put my test cut down here which is where it was I think when we just uh, looked at that um, uh, previous drawing so if I save it at this point then it should come out when I uh, get ready to actually cut it at that spot so I'm gonna redo this thing export FCM file yeah yeah I know okay and I'll just use the same one just save it again yes I want to replace it boink, like that so now I can go back down to let's keep that up there uh, go back down to um, this let's see if I can back out of this I'm not sure how I'll do that I guess I'll start all over again select file okay do the same one again you know I've had some people tell me a couple of my videos um, that I've actually le left my mistakes in and that's why I'm doing it again here uh, I could have re redone this whole thing and not given away that I did a brain lock okay now I've got the thing the right size yeah, okay right there uh, let's try it again test cut I want it on test cut settings I want it it should show it to me now on here yeah five by five right so it should be okay one two three four fifth one down and one two three four fifth one over so one two three four five and one two three four five so I should be well within the uh, vinyl sheet um, I can't remember the one I did if I left it this size I don't know doesn't really matter okay so I'm gonna leave it there a medium square cut and I'll say okay and it's gonna jump through all these hoops again boing 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 yeah I've, I've done that before where I forgot you have to d decide the size way back up here in here when you're first making uh, the file okay there we go I think I'm in safe territory here so let's start uh, I also uh, look this up test cut settings and it looks like I'm probably okay um, if I do this uh, okay uh, if I do this um, at a four I think I've got the thing set up as a four it should be pretty close isn't that great having that little thing ding all over the place and all these little icons flashing at you okay now I'm gonna start and it's gonna to have to do um, a cut right oh no I did should have done that first apply now it's gonna do it again a changing mode yes because now I want to cut it instead of doing nothing hmm. Like I said, this has been a real handful figuring this out. Uh, um, I suppose that if you've already spent the time and effort to learn the uh, the uh, scan and cut, if you got one of those machines, this may make a bit more sense to you. But uh, it sure has been a handful getting this far far for me. Okay, now I wanted to make a little cut, so there it goes, and it's down in the corner. Very good it's not off the vinyl now you can't see this well I go over here and check to make sure that in fact it's all right yeah let's see yep okay I want to go with the real thing oh come on stop blinking um, and you can see here the test cuts completed to resume operation press the restart button um, if it weren't I hit stop all right but and you can see the little bit of green right here it's, it's saying that was the test cut um, so when I hit restart it's gonna it's gonna cut this thing out I, I could stop it and you know 
mess around with it to you know, move the little box somewhere else, I guess. Um, so it says restart, boing. So I hit the restart, and now it's going to go through. Boop, it's going to through and go through the process of cutting the little bike out. And I'm standing over this, listening to it rattling all around. Very good. It's all fitting within the uh, little piece of vinyl. looks good um, I'd show you but I have to get the other camera out so I'm going to uh, unload push the little funny looking button here oh stop dinging and it looks like it's cut pretty good now on the thing I'm trying to do is I'm not trying to get the bicycle image. I'm trying to get the negative image because I want to use this as a sandblast um, mask. And so I want to sandblast the bicycle image, right? Not uh, protect the glass with the bicycle image. Does that make sense? I hope so. Uh, so effectively, I have to do a transfer. I'm going to have to use a transfer sheet to pull this whole thing off of here and then carefully pick out the bicycle parts leaving the square piece of um, vinyl as the mask that I will stick onto the glass and uh, I don't want to take the time to do that right now because I've already rattled on too long uh, I'll make a separate video of that and I'll reference back uh, to anyone who's watching that for the first time how I got there so 10-4, Roger Rubber Ducky. Um, now I'm going to go out and figure out how to use my little sandblasting tool, which I have not used yet.